I know this is where we gotta get that motherboard, so let's just do what we always do in these kind of situations. Try everything. Hand, no, doesn't work. Superconductive, oh. Okay. Pour that there. And there we go, there it is. Let's just go ahead and take that. la -de da hooray for me, I'm great, let's go. La -de da de doop And we're just gonna put that right over there. All right, finally, cooking with gas. It's not advisable at this time. Oh, thanks for returning that. Your gratitude was not my objective. I require access to the overrides. Right, bad news. This isn't the terminal you need. Primary access is down two more levels, and the whole laboratory is flooded. How did the laboratories become flooded? They were designed with an emergency flush valve in case of contamination. Someone must have initiated it before this block lost power. Backup generators are active now, but the flush never completed. Then this water is contaminated. Nah, it's clean. Must have been something else they were trying to get rid of. Hmm. Or someone. But who could it be? Are you still unwilling to assist me? It's not a matter of will. Or want, anyway. Doesn't matter. I couldn't help you even if it was. Flushing the water takes way more power than I have access to. I will shut down this entire facility if I have to. Do whatever it takes, huh? There is a way. Reveal it. Please reveal the means. Sometimes following rules and fitting parameters has... Oh, well... See behind me? It appears to be some sort of stasis. That's right. For droids who've been validated, ready to be reshipped, all their power cores stabilized to one stasis matrix. That's a lot of juice. You can drain them. No, you can. Overclock the matrix and reroute the power to boost your emergency flush. You can fry them. Cool, we'll do. I don't know these people. I'll fry them. <laughs> uh, is it a moral thing? I don't know. I don't know. That baby puzzle really kind of took me out of the plot of this game. Really kind of don't care anymore. Now I just want to get the game done. All right, analyze. I may need to save to it. save Joseph's one human life, Arid. Press that button if you well, if you want to. And I do. Done. Let's see, hive slug, perhaps the most fascinating indigenous species we have discovered is the hive slug. Capable of growing to a tremendous mass, they will reproduce asexually when a suitable mate is not available. These enlarged hive slugs become clawly queens, and they dwarf the drones, which we more commonly see. A queen cycles through two biological stages, brooding and foraging. When she has sufficient nutritional reserves, a queen will produce a clutch of eggs, then enter a dormant state where they incubate. Once her eggs are gone, she will return to her foraging state, and this is perhaps the most compelling aspect of the species. So it makes it today. The primary function of drones is foraging, and once they have consumed an adequate amount of food, they return to the queen and enter her body through an orifice at her base. They go up above. They go up above. Her bum. Drones will deposit the partially digested material and then return to foraging. The cycle then continues until the queen is ready to spawn a new clutch. From above. Can I 
Can I just use it yet? Nope. Okay. Can I just throw these in there? Eh? Eh? No. Alright then. So we got some turbines working. Oh. This was not there a moment ago. You are correct. He's just... He just likes bringing crosses everywhere. Oh. And now that works. Oh, boy. You know, this robot would make the KKK proud. He, I mean, the KKK would just be like, Hey, we did a cross on this guy's lawn. And he'd just be like, BAM! Crossing lawn! You light it on fire, I did my job, and then just hop away. Fit through solid steel to catch those insects. My armor would not withstand it. I will have to avoid the water. Mm, would I... Um, make it explosive. Well, I'm just going to go right in. Nope, it will not let me at all. Oh. Two steps forward, one step back. Two steps forward, one step back. I want to shoot everything I see. I just want to go on a shooting spree. Oh. was having fun at the start. Now I'm just tired. Uh. Oh god, okay. So I need to find a cup-like device to shoot everything. Maybe something will happen. Cannot do anything about that. I cannot do anything about that. Do you something with the screen? Oh, sorry. This terminal has experienced a power surge and is currently inoperable. Oh. Did I do that? Yes, yes I did. Just need to clean myself off real quick. Feeling a little dirty. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to put that in there at some point. Yes, I know. That makes something explode. Okay. Just let me shoot the machine open. Can't interface with it. Of course I can't, because that would be too easy. Oh wait, hold on, what's this? Jawfish. At first glance, indigenous jawfish is unremarkable. They become compelling when understood as creatures of extremity. When in proximity to a possibly fertile breeding partner, jawfish become fixated on one another and will generally and generally docile to other species. It is it is when they are in isolation, however, that they become extraordinarily aggressive when testing their territorial ferocity. 
We separated them with metal gating. They bit right through the steel. This couple has been here for several years now and are quite safe. So we're trying to find the mate of the other one. Hooray. Is it in the beverage machine? I think it is. But I need a container of some sort. And unfortunately, I just can't blow something up. Can't interact with it. How about if I blow it up? Can I blow it up? I want to blow it up. Let me blow it up. That's all I want. That's all I want is just to blow it up. But you won't let me blow it up. You can't just let me have that. Can I take this other guy's other hand now? No. No. Cool. Cool. Let's go back up to higher ground and see if we can't find a cup. Because I'm sure that's what we're going to be needing here. Is a cup. All I want is a cup. Cup, be cup, be cup, be cup, be cup. A cup to put things in. A cup to put things in. A cup to pour things out. But that's after I put them in. Come on, you're holding a cup. Let me have it. Give it. I'm not going to keep you, so I'm going to figure out what I need to do here on my own time, so you're not watching me just running around all willy-nilly. And then we'll see you each other next episode. Toodles!